I get this question quite often. I want to talk about healing methods, or specifically what I do to um, help heal myself. Um, if you guys did not know, I'm a writer. I like to write. Now, honestly, I don't write as much as I need to, as much as I want to, as much as I should be doing, but I do still write. I have a blog. If you guys are not following my blog, you should go check it out. Um, it's just casual writing. Um, I used to write stories, you know, erotic stories. I'm not exactly in that mind frame right now. Like, I don't really feel... Right now, I'm not really writing my erotica right now. I just don't feel like it. <clears throat> it's not really forefront in my mind right now so but what is forefront in my mind what has recently come back which took me years and years and years to come back to is my poetry I've always written poetry and that has started to come back to me um within the last few months and I've always wanted to write a poetry book so that's what's gonna come next more than likely um that's what I'm working on as far as my writing I'm really working on getting my poetry together you know refining it and all that other good stuff. So, I love to write. Writing's hella therapeutic. <laughs> um, that's one thing I do to help me heal. Another thing I do, obviously, are these videos. These videos are very therapeutic, no matter what I want to talk about. Like, um, even if it's, whether it's abuse related or not abuse related, whether it's, you know, religion related, anything. I'm, I'm talking about nature or just filming my little nature walks, um, my hiking or anything. It's still therapeutic for me. I love it. I have been a YouTuber for a long time. Now, not necessarily on this channel, but I also have a hair channel if you guys don't know. I, um, I've been there for, since like 2012. So, I've been on YouTube a long time, longer than it seems. So I've been doing that, and another thing I do also leading up to that is I love doing hair. I don't do other people's hair, I just do my own hair, my family's hair, but doing hair is therapeutic. That's also been healing me. Like sometimes I'll be having a bad moment or a bad day, and um, one of my daughters will need their hair done anyway, so I'll go grab one of them and just do their hair. I just do a new style, or I just moisturize it or whatever, and I feel so much better even doing my own hair. Um, just doing hair period. Doing natural hair helps me feel a lot better. And in a lot of ways that has helped me heal the years also. Just doing hair. It's fun. What can I say? Even when my hair was like super long, um, it was really fun. And my hair is going to get back there. And this time I don't plan to cut it. I'm growing my hair back to waist length and I ain't cutting it this time. <laughs> so, yeah. Another thing I do to help heal me is um, I do music. If you guys have not noticed, I have recently got a um, piano keyboard. I recently got that as a wonderful birthday gift and um, I've been playing the shit out of it. If you guys did not pay attention to that, I've been playing piano by ear ever since I was 10 and really longer than that, really longer than 10 because before my mom got me a keyboard. I used to play on my grandmother's organ. She used to have an organ in her house a long, long time ago when I was super young. And whenever I visit her, visited her, I played that organ, played the hell out of that organ. And of course, the organ and piano sound completely different, but you know, still same concept, same notes. And um, it was fun. You know, it's always been fun. I've always just played by ear. It's very therapeutic. I just love, love playing that piano. I'm so glad we finally bought it. So grateful to have a musical outlet. Um, I've always made music, like even on my computer. Um, I used to use Fruity Loops, or AKA FL Studio, which is a computer generated music program. I still use that sometimes, but I don't necessarily own it right now, so I can't really use it to, the, to its fullest potential. But one day I will, I'm gonna get that program again and I'll be producing my own music again because I used to, I used to love doing that. Back in college, I would use GarageBand um, <laughs> on um, a Mac computer. Years and years ago, when I was in art school, um, I had a chance to try a Mac computer for the first time. And it was super fun, and I learned GarageBand, and I created songs on GarageBand. 
Now, of course, they sound like shit now, but, you know, I still have them because that's just my little talent and it is what it is. If you guys want to hear those songs, I might put them in a video. Maybe. <laughs> um, it'll be kind of embarrassing because, again, like I said, they're kind of shit, but, hey, it's just, it is what it is. I still made some songs, you know? So, um, that's just what I do. And I make a lot of songs now. Um, and my husband is good at just jumping in and helping me. He adds his own little touch to the songs that I make now on the piano. So it's really, really fun, y'all. That has helped me so much over the years. Um, just making music before I had this keyboard. Making music on the computer um, has greatly helped me. And just making music in general. I'm a huge instrument person. If I could own every instrument in the world, I probably would. Something to work towards, you know, maybe. My husband, he has a flute. So he doesn't fully know how to play it, but, you know, he's working on it. Wind instruments are a lot more, a lot harder to master than, um, manual. Wait, not manual. Y'all know what I mean. Pianos are easier than wind instruments, in my opinion. But, hey, you do what you do. So, <clears throat> Anyway, um, playing music is very therapeutic for me. That has been helping me heal throughout the years. Um, even during my abuse situations, my mom, she had a piano for me years ago. She used to own a piano, um, and I played on that. When I had my really bad moments, I would just make up songs. We'd be ready to go out the door, and before we go out the door, I'll just be sitting there on the piano making up songs, you know, before we leave and whatnot. And it was always fun. It always helped me so, so much. I'm a huge music head. I love music. I love instrumentals especially. Love them. Another thing I've been doing to heal. I can't say this is fully um, a healing process. But I play games. I play a lot of games. Well, I used to play more games than now. Because time and kids. And I can't play as much as I used to. But I used to play a lot of games. Me and my husband both were severe game players. We were hooked on games way longer than we should have and wasted a lot of money on games that we shouldn't have and <laughs> you know we don't have any like updated game consoles or anything but we were huge PC gamers we used to play a lot of MMOs, MMORPGs stuff like that, Steam games all of that so it's still therapeutic to me you know sometimes playing a good game of something will just ease, just calm you way down you know if, you, if you're a gamer if you're any kind of otaku then you know what I'm talking about so, it is what it is. Another thing that I do to heal is, um, and I knew I should have made a list because I, I could have sworn I had a list somewhere. Exercise greatly helps. Now, I have, I used to be very much into fitness years ago, years ago, before I had kids. Um, but of course, depression got in the way and it knocked me way off kilter. I had a lot of kids gained a lot of weight, let that baby weight sit on me for way too long, and I'm still getting rid of the damn baby weight, y'all, because <laughs> having five kids is practically, um, back to back, it ain't easy, getting rid of that weight is not easy, so I'm still working on it, but, you know, I still look good, if I have five kids, I look fucking good, sue me, <laughs> exercising is very thera therapeutic, it's very, very good for anxiety, and, um, circulation issues that I have in my body. I just need to move around more. I need to stop being so sedentary. And that's what I've been doing lately and it's been helping. Now, like I said, I haven't been sticking to it as much, but it's been helping regardless. And you know, I'm doing my best. Exercise is key. Keeping that blood flowing is key. I've been doing yoga, stretching every day, all kind of stuff that's just been helping me a lot to help ease my anxiety. Because yoga alone is, is very anxiety relieving. It's very much a relief. So I love that, and I will definitely keep that up. And my friend just texted me. What friend, you ask? I will not reveal that yet. <laughs> anyway, another thing I do right now to help myself heal is read. I used to be a huge bookworm. Fell off the bandwagon again because I have kids. I lost interest in reading and I was no longer a bookworm for how long, but lately I've been really getting back into reading. I have books that I bought as a teenager, never read. 
So I'm just now picking some of the books back up or getting rid of what I no longer want to read. Um, just picking them up again and in my free time just reading a little something something even if it's just two chapters I just read a little bit day by day and try to get the book done you know because reading is fun reading is always adventurous and just recently I bought um, the Harry Potter book pack like I bought the whole pack of like seven books the whole um the entire set and I'm so so thrilled to start that because if you know anything about me my mom was very strict and I was not In there. I'm gonna get on it and um just happy I got that discount because that's just high um very happy for that so yeah I've been reading a lot more very happy <sighs> what else do I do to um help heal be in nature of course the main obvious one that I've been talking about lately just be in nature observe nature um meditate in nature meditating period helps um, when I say meditating, you don't have to just be sitting there in the dark chanting. Meditation could be, um, meditation comes in many forms, you know. Me just sitting here in the quiet, you know, if the camera was off. Me just sitting here enjoying my quiet time while the kids are occupied is meditation to me. Me just sitting here, um, staring out the trees. Or I could just go outside, walk around, just stare at the trees for 10 minutes. To me, that's meditation. I'll go outside and talk to the cats because we have a lot of cats around here who love us. Because we feed some of them sometimes. <laughs> so it's like we have little extra pets. Um, I just go outside and talk to the cats. And, you know, talk to the plants. And whatever other living thing is around me, I just kind of meditate with. That's my way of meditation sometimes. Um, just talking to the plants and animals. And we used to have a plant that we were taking care of. But um, it died because eh, it's winter time. And, you know, we don't, we don't have all that space to house a bunch of plants honestly because if we did not do be hella plants up in here <laughs> honestly um but one day one day there will be and um that's just what i do as far as meditation you know when i can i meditate at night when the kids are in bed kids are asleep completely out of my hair i just um if i want i'll sit in the dark for a little while and just sit there and meditate i try to meditate and i just think and try to clear my mind you know clearing your mind is sometimes like the hardest thing to do but I've gotten better with it what else um damn I feel like I'm forgetting something I used to draw I don't draw as much anymore but I plan to get back into that as well um just for the hell of it because I'm multi-talented and there are other talents that I have that I'm just letting go to waste right now um I used to draw a lot I used to draw cartoon characters and comics I need to get back into that. <laughs> um, my husband, he draws way better than I do, but either way, I just need to get back into drawing, period. Uh, it's just been a while. You know, I used to paint. Yo, I used to do a lot of shit, so. Um, but the ones I just mentioned, I think those are just the basis. That's the basis of things I do to heal, you know, on the daily. You know, maybe not daily. I don't do all these things daily. I just do them when I can, you know, like I said, exercising, meditation, playing music, doing hair, gaming, reading, you know, whatever else, and writing. Those are the basic, I guess, seven things that I do to help myself heal because I have to. I have to figure out how to self-heal because I cannot let myself fall into a slump anymore. I can't let myself fall into a very bad slump when I have kids to raise and kids to feed. I can't do that. So y'all, I'm <clears throat> doing my very best, and this is my way of, um, these are my ways of healing. So, I hope I was able to help some of you or give you some ideas or tips or anything. I hope you learned a lot more about me. If you're interested, of course you're interested, you click the video. But, <laughs> I hope that, um, you guys enjoy this video. And, um, I hope you guys are having a great day and all that other good stuff let me know how you guys heal in the comments below write down how you heal how do you heal your trauma and settle your anxiety thank you for watching peace out